I think a lot of us struggle with the idea that great artists make great decisions, but I don't think that's why they make great decisions or great art. I think half of being a great artist is the skill aspect, or less than half. I think that the skill it takes to become a professional or highly skilled in whatever category you want to be highly skilled in, there is the immediate experience with the knowledge. There's the immediate experience with the practice. And then there's how that practice, that, that practice you experienced that day over time gets categorized and put in the back of your mind, so to speak. So you have it to pull from instinctively instead of actively. You don't actively try to paint well. You don't, the skill you have right now, the skill that you currently have, you don't try to be that skill, do you? It just happens. So where does that come from? It's not something that's happening live. It's not something that's happening brushstroke by brushstroke. It's just instinctive, something instinctive about it. So if you think about the master and then you think about how the master works, half of it is this instinctive skill. They, they just practiced so much that the skill happens automatically. And the other half of it, the other half of being a great artist is the unknown, is just not giving up on the drawing or the painting. Just trying and despite the mistakes made, not giving up, not tossing it. No matter what it looks like, no matter how crummy it may look to you, you are still trying. The master may make, on average, less mistakes than the intermediate or the beginner, but they are still, just as much as you are, swimming in the unknown and trusting that their brushstrokes and having faith in their brushstrokes, trusting that the result is imminent. So being a great artist is getting really, really good at not giving up on your painting. It isn't just about skill. It's about believing that if I put in the work into this, that it will accumulate and something is bound to pop out. And even if it doesn't, I'm practicing not giving up. So I may have not given up right away. I may have given up six hours after the process, but that's still six hours I lasted in the process. So learning how to be a great artist is two things. It's practicing the fundamentals, the techniques, the, the, the design aspect, practicing the mileage, exposing yourself to as much mileage as possible, making as many mistakes, which is what mileage is, mistake making, and also not giving up on your paintings. It's just having more faith in yourself and having faith in the entire process. So painting is an act of faith. Painting is believing that these brushstrokes that you are performing, these brushstrokes that you're applying, some of them are going to land. That the, that the act of drawing, just the act alone outside of the skill and success of execution, just the act of it, it not being new to your brain anymore, makes it so that your accuracy and timing and, and patience and just general attitude towards the process, it's just so much more familiar to you and familiar to your brain that the brain has practiced that muscle that performs art, just strictly the muscle in your brain, so to speak, that performs that art. One thing that I like to say to my viewers when I'm streaming, or one thing that I like to revisit in my mind, kind of like my own fan fiction of the way the universe works or why we're here, it's just like my fan fiction about life, um, is that we were celestial beings at one point, these just immortal beings that were so successful at everything they did and everything they attempted, and they were good at everything. 
and everything they tried they succeeded at it 100 percent. so this is a very general image of them but i just imagine like these really nondescript beings that glided through time and space that succeeded in every interaction meaning they interacted perfectly with everything around them symbiotically and it was just a beautiful synchronicity or harmony with everything around them so they so they created perfectly everything they wanted to create and everything they attempted to create they were able to create it but by some crazy happenstance or the big bang or something something came along and tore them all apart and destroyed them and now pieces of them create the universe and so we have in us like this memory of who we used to be these just you and me we have this memory that we used to be really good at what we did and now we're doing the things that we want to do but we're not good at them and we're not good at them right away and it's frustrating because i have a memory of we have a memory of when we were really good at things we were really great we were really divine and this memory of it is half the frustration if not all of it why am i not good at this right away and we forget that we are working with our brain we are succeeding in partnership with our brain our brain is this tool that we use to perform these skills to execute these tasks so repetition showing up is vital it's vital that you know there, there's theory there's a lot of theory involved in art a lot of it and you can know all of it you can buy every art book watch every tutorial you can critique others you can teach and articulate the theory perfectly uh, as if you're reading from a script to others, but performing the art is a different beast entirely. It's knowledge that at one point was a knowledge that you met for the first time, but with enough practice became this automatic automation of your hands and muscle memory that allowed you to draw well. So you are this celestial creature that has a memory of itself being perfect and divine, experiencing the limitations of mortality experiencing the limitation of what it means to have a material brain that needs time to ingest information through repetition so you are neither patient for this repetition and you are facing yet again the idea that you are stuck here in this material realm in this material form and you also are struggling with the faith aspect so the practice is shot the faith is shot the 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 the, the, the hubris is all there whether it you know it rejects criticism whether it rejects the idea of failure fear of failure perfectionism this all stems from the idea that i should be doing better but i'm not so because the brain is this um very slow device of adaptation we end up getting caught up in its perceived failure and it's not failure it's just the slow adaptation process that requires time but there are efficient ways to learn i teach them all the time in my classes i'm always trying to hack the mind and i'm always trying to use many i'm always trying to uh, approach it through different angles and diagrams and 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 just the way i present my information in my classes i'm always trying to show your brain hey there's logic here it, it, the brain likes to input information through logic than anything else because logic is sticky it, it actually sticks in there when you don't know what you're doing while you're drawing when you are not sure if these brush strokes make any sense or if they will uh, work you have to know you are in the middle of a timeline of your skill development and half the reason why you have successful pieces is that you didn't give up despite it not looking perfect while it developed so when we think about 
the art process and not knowing what you're doing while you're drawing. That is exactly what you're supposed to be doing. So yeah, the planning is great, but at the end, there is this required minimum level of faith you have to have in order to finish a drawing. While planning and preparing and creating lists and, and mood boards is amazing for inducing success in your painting process, um, it's amazing for reducing anxiety. It's amazing for helping you envision the final result. But no matter how efficiently or vividly you can envision the final result, you never really know what it'll look like. And also, you can't envision anything for longer than like three second bursts. Like if I used all my brain power right now to imagine an illustration, I am only imagining it in pieces. Because at the end of the day, we're asking our brain to do something it's not coded to do. It's learning it despite its code. Our brain is learning art despite its basic protocol. Our brain taught us images that relate to our survival. It taught us flat images related to words. These images are symbols. We saw everything through the image of a symbol. We saw everything through the feeling of that, that that was attached to that symbol. So as children, we learn basic words through symbols, words that help us communicate our needs from food to, to our emotions, our frustrations, to our thoughts, our desires. We, it never was asked to provide three-dimensional images that had light rendering on them. So the, ne so the brain never had to give us this information before. Our brain is learning something it doesn't know how to do. Half the art battle is an act of faith and diving into the unknown, swimming in the black of the unknown. And most of your skill isn't summoned in this live play-by-play. -play. Most of it is automated, instinctive. You don't know you're good until you paint and you paint based off this culmination of images, memories, muscle memory, hand movements, brush knowledge, technique knowledge, and familiarity with the canvas and your brain's just ability to not panic at this task because it's done it so many times, it's comfortable. It's like second nature. It's like breathing. So what is the reason why we succeed then? It's just a gamble. It's like this insane random explosion of events that are unpredictable and completely random. We may have plans, we may have a mood board, we may have a reference, but at the end of the day, we really don't know what we're doing and that's okay. When I painted this piece, I really had no idea what it was going to look like. I had the reference, but I had parts of the reference I neglected, and I had another reference for the mouth and the lower part of the face and the hair, and then the rest of it was just all from my mind. So I would say it's like a, the complete unknown of what I'm about to do next and why, but I just keep it because these brush strokes paint themselves, and I had no idea. So not knowing what you're doing may induce quitting on not just this painting, but art in general, or being so intimidated by the canvas that you just don't even bother. You don't bother, not this time, not the next time, because the unknown is too much for a being that has been raised by a system of control. So art is this act of faith, act of not having control. I mean, you learn fundamentals because you assume they'll give you more control. They'll give you more control over your art, but we don't. The master has no more control over the unknown than the beginner. The unknown of what's about to happen to your image, to your painting, the master is as much at the mercy of the unknown as the beginner is. We all will deal with the unknown of starting a painting. We don't know what we're doing, and that's the process. The process is not knowing what you're doing. Maybe you guys disagree. Let me know in the comments what you guys believe. But I, based off the successful pieces that I've had in the past, pieces that I would say are my poster pieces, I look back at them and I try to remember the process. And 
nearly all the process was random, unplanned culmination of brush strokes that were guided by some general theory and principle, but still most of the process was instinctive brush strokes that led to a result that took time and many layers and revisits and before it became this final piece. And if you learn how to welcome that lack of control, if you learn how to accept that lack of control and work with the faith that all you really have to do is show up to your painting and the rest is just the belief in the process and faith in the process, you'll find yourself trying more paintings and not just more paintings, new things. And any time spent in the canvas is golden time. Any time spent teaching your brain, it's okay to be here. It's okay to be doing this. It's okay to be painting. It is golden time. It is valuable time. All mileage is valuable mileage. If you ask the master, hey, which of your days of practice do you think were pointless? They'll say none of them. They were all with purpose. Every single day I failed, every shitty drawing I drew was to bring me here. Not a single one of those days where I didn't perform well, where I sucked, were wasted days. If you ask the master which days in your practice were wasted, they'll say none of them, that you have to show up and whether or not you're going to fail, you're teaching your brain it's okay to be here in this process, not knowing what you're doing. So if you don't know what you're doing while you're painting, that's the painting process.